name is Lex Schaefer, and welcome back to Inside the Waco Center here for Pioneer Coach Shows. Uh, today, my guest is Jared Dawson, head women's soccer coach. How are Relax. you doing? Good. Good. Good um, to be here. I, I know the season probably definitely didn't go in a way that you wanted to, um, but I definitely think here towards the end, we did have some highlights. Uh, you know, what were some big things that stood out to you this season? Uh, our effort. I thought our effort was good throughout the season. It's been a tough season for sure. Uh, from day one, first game, having injuries. Uh, and it just seemed like we couldn't get over the injury hump, which made it hard to play consistently. Uh, you know, the first two games, we didn't have our, you know, our star freshman from last year, uh, Smets. I think she got a little bit of play in the second game. And uh, then it seemed like every time we started coming together, we would have someone else, uh, a key player, or key two players out. And I think by the end of the season, we had, five injuries that you know, we'd have five starters our last our last game so i mean it make, makes it tough it makes it hard to stay positive so the biggest positive i took from the season was their willingness to fight all the way you know, no matter who was in there or, or what so that, that was the good a good thing of it well plus two with a lot of freshmen getting some of their career first um like i know destiny with the uh game against west liberty i mean she picked up her first career goal with the pioneer yeah um, yeah yeah, and Smith was injured, and but with her hat trick against Wheeling, um, and I think she scored against UC. I mean, she's now the all-time leading goal scorer here in Leadville. Yeah, and so it'd be it'd have been nice to have her our first two games, and and then what our last uh, two or three at the end. I mean, it make, she makes a huge difference. She makes a presence on the field. When we play other teams, people know who she is. Uh, the same way, the same way with McKenzie. That's the first thing the Concord coach asked me was, "Is a fast defender not back there today?" And I said, "No, she's not not there." So, and she had that season in, uh, ending injury against uh, West Lib. So yeah, it's been. But yeah, there's some positive things you can take from it. A lot of people got some playing time, and I think sometimes for freshmen coming in, they're frustrated because they're not playing as much. But you know, one of the things I always preach: if we depend on freshmen to carry our program, we're we're in trouble. I mean, definitely, but I think the good thing is of having, you know, a younger team, uh, you know, by the looks of it, if you're already looking ahead to next year, yeah, you know, we're sure. returning a lot of talent. Yeah, for sure. We're recruiting hard now. We got a, a young lady from Spain that signed, that's going to sign with us here next week. Uh, we got a girl from Portuguese that might come in for the spring. So, uh, and she's a, she's a transfer, started her career at Ohio Valley, and, you know, before Ohio Valley went. Yeah, went under so, and that was part of a good team. So we're excited. We're, we're close on her, and we have the Spaniard. We're close on a couple other good little players. So yeah, we're excited and looking forward to next year. I mean, that's always great. <laughs> um, I mean, that's the good, crazy thing about the offseason. You, know, you, you get your plan in. And you you're like, okay, you know, maybe we could have done this a little bit differently, but we're going to do it this year. We're going to, you know, get it going. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think we'll surprise a, a lot of people. That, but I expected to su surprise a lot of people this year. But it's just, uh, and I don't want to make excuses because I think the whole team fought hard, the girls fought hard. But if you if you can keep the two good, good key players in all the time, it makes a difference. It's just like a quarterback goes down in football. It makes it makes it's, a little it's tough. I mean, yeah. so, injuries are a part of the game, but yep. it's it's one thing you really can't. He played for it. Yeah, you can't be like, oh, okay, so that's not being available for the first two games. So, and another you know, one, a great one in here. Another one, yeah, another one that stepped up, was stepping up big, and we were getting excited as the season was progressing. It was great on Floyd and breaks our ankle, you know. We're not even halfway through the season. And for a freshman, it takes them a few games to get rolling. And uh, Same with Smetzer, and she was all conference freshman last year. It took her a few games to get rolling. Uh, so and, I, and I was looking forward to Graylon coming into our own this year, and it's just uh, rough, rough. Uh, but we're happy we'll have her back in the spring. Uh, we're hoping that Spence is going to be able to practice in the spring. You know, she broke her collarbone, had surgery last week, uh, doing well. Actually, uh, her parents came in from Belgium, had dinner with them last night. They seemed excited. So, uh, and uh, when you talk to Europeans, adult Europeans that know football really well or soccer really well, uh, it, it was fun having dinner with him last night and uh, him believing in the program and saying that he sees now and the progression and, and what's happened. So that makes you feel good. So the program's definitely headed in the right direction. 
though the record doesn't show what the program is. Well, I think that's a lot to forgive on me. This is a really young program. Um, I mean, before you're fired as coach, I mean, there was a year where we, we, I mean, we immediately hopped into competing at the NCAA level. You know, it wasn't like C, it took a couple of years oh. and then you know, jumped jump to that level. I mean, from the get go, you know, we were competing at the NCAA level right away. Oh. Oh. Looking forward to, I'm looking forward to next season. Well, coach, it was great to have you. Yeah, so. thank you, Lex. Appreciate it.